Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to this video, guys. My name is Lakat Zaman. I hope you guys are all well. This is the chapter of menstruation. So now we've kind of covered the main sort of topics and uh, issues regarding menstruation. Now it's to do with postnatal bleeding. So nifas is postnatal bleeding. Uh, blood that a woman sees after giving childbirth. And then you have adam, which is blood. Um, then you have kharij, which means outside, ex exiting. Aqib, it means after. Wilada, means childbirth. Uh, dam, again we've done that. Hamil is pregnant woman. And uh, tarahu, uh, hal is uh, state. Wilada, we've done that. Khuruj is exiting. Istihada is, we done that before, you guys should know that. Aqal, we done that as well. Had, it means limit. And Akthar, most, Arba'oon, 40, Istihada, we've done that. So a lot of these words, we've kind of covered them before, but um, you might need a refreshing. So let's do the Tarkib then. So Nifas, this is the Mubtada. Hua is again a Mubtada. Dam is the Mawsuf. Al Khariju is the Sifa. Aqib is Mudaf. And Wilada is Mudaf ilayhi. Mudaf plus the Mudaf ilayhi put together becomes the Dharf. All of that becomes Ma'atuf. Um, it becomes Khabar, sorry. Okay, Khabar. Right, and that becomes the Khabar of the first Mubtada. Okay, uh, and Dam is Mubtada again. Actually, we can make it into a Mawsuf. Aladi is Mawsul. And Tarahu is the Fi'l. And it's the fa'il is hamil, who is the maful bihi. Um, and then all that put together becomes the ma'atuf alayhi. Wa is ataf, ma is mausul, tarahu is fi'l. And the maful bihi, mar'atu is the fa'il. Fi is the jar, hal is the majurur, and mudaf mudaf ilay. Majurur, qabla is the mudaf. And khuruj al walad, mudaf mudaf ilay. And all that becomes dharf. Right, so then all of this now becomes the ma'atuf, and then all that becomes ma'atuf, and plus the ma'atuf alayhi is all the sila of alladhi. So let's just mark off what the sila is. So alladhi tarahu al hamilu, that's that's the sila of alladhi, and then tarahu al maratu fi hali waladatiha qabla khuruj al walad, that's the sila of ma. Right, so you got sila, you got sila, mosul, right. And um, then all that becomes the um, Mubtada. And then Istihadatun becomes the Khabar. Okay. All right. So next. Aqallu and Nifasi is Mudaf Mudaf ilay. La Hadda Lahu. So La Nafil Jins. Hadda is the Ism of La. And Lahu is Jar Majur Mutalik and becomes the Khabar. Of la nafil jins, and then all that becomes the mubtada. Uh, sorry, becomes mubtada khabar, and then akthar who is mubtada, mudam mudafilay, and then arba'un is mumayyaz, yawman is tamiz, mumayyaz and tamiz becomes the khabar, and then wama zada ala dalika ma is mausul, zada is the fi'l, and then you have ala is jar, dalika is majrur. And then all of that becomes the Mubtada. Hua is Mubtada, Istihada to his Khabar. All that becomes the Khabar of the Greater Mubtada. And there you have it, that's the Turkey basically. Now, this, the Masla is basic, basically like this. Imagine there is a woman. And this woman, she has a fetus, she has a baby she's carrying. Now, when she carries this baby, she is known as being pregnant. If she delivers this child, right, she's no longer pregnant, and the blood that comes out uh, is going to be counted as, uh, you know, some sort of a ruling attached to it. Normally, a woman will be pregnant for nine months. So if a woman, uh, let's say at the end of nine months, that's when she delivers the child, if she experiences blood, after the delivery, then this blood is known as nifas, 
right? So any blood that's seen after delivery is counted as postnatal bleeding, and the same rules as Hayd applies to her. Um, if this blood is seen before delivery, this is counted as istihada, and uh, reason being is because a pregnant woman cannot have menstruation according to the Hanafis. And if the blood is seen at the time of delivery, then it's also counted as istihada. So blood after is nifas, blood before is istihada, and blood at the time of delivery is also counted as istihada. So let's put an arrow there as well to, to indicate that. Now, what the masala is saying basically is nifas is the blood which comes out after wilada. That's the definition that is used. That's important to understand that. It's after. It's not before, it's after. Wadam alladhi tarahu alhamilu And the blood that's seen by a pregnant woman, that's not considered to be haith. So haith, minimum haith is... Uh, um, okay, so let's, let's, let's look at the translations then. So wadam alladhi tarahu alhamil And the blood that is seen by a pregnant woman And that which is seen by a woman Fi hali wiladatiha In the case of state of her delivery Qabla al khuruj al walad Before the exiting of the child Is istihada Okay next masana If there is a woman who experiences menstruation Minimum menstruation like we said Is 3 days And the maximum menstruation is going to be 10 days What about nifas? In Nifas, it's a bit different. The maximum uh, is 40 days. Right? So she, if she sees blood for 40, 40 days or more, it can only be a maximum of 40 days of Nifas, postnatal bleeding. And any blood that's seen beyond 40 days is counted as Istihada, just like any blood that is seen after 10 days is counted as Istihada. As for minimum Nifas, there is no such thing as a minimum Nifas. Technically, a woman might not see any blood after the child is born. That's possible. But for Hayth, the minimum amount of bleeding that has to occur for a woman to be declared as being in the state of Hayth has to be three days. right? So that's the important thing to, to note here. And that's why it says over here, أَقَلُّ nifasi, The minimum limit of nifas, لَا حَدَّ لَهُ There's no limit. In other words, it's possible that a woman may not see any blood at all. وَأَكْثَرُهُ And the majority and the, and the most of it, meaning the most, the highest limit, أَرْبَعُونَ يَوْمًا 40 days. وَمَا زَادَ عَلَى ذَلِكَ And anything that's beyond that, فَهُوَ إِسْتِحَاضَةٌ Then that is إِسْتِحَاضَةٌ Alright, so that's going to be counted as dysfunctional bleeding. Okay, now here are some questions for you guys to try and figure out yourselves. What is nifas? How long can nifas last? What is the minimum nifas? Can a pregnant woman have haith? What's the ruling of the blood at the time of delivery? So put the answers in the comments below inshallah and I'll have a look at them as well inshallah uh, to see if you guys have understood today's lesson. Jazakumullah khair. Thank you very much for watching this video. Patrons, uh, you know, a, a big thank you to all you guys for all your support for this channel. We only reward you immensely. And I will see you guys inshallah next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you very much guys for watching this video and again thank you to all my patrons as well for all your support Jazakumullah khair. May Allah reward you immensely. If you guys want to become a patron then links in the description below. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.